Hello viewers. So today we are going to install a Kubernetes cluster using VirtualBox, Vagrant and uh, KubeADM. Uh, the cluster will have one master node and three worker nodes. To follow this demo, you need to install VirtualBox. Uh, you can install VirtualBox from virtualbox.org. Current version is 6.1. Then you need to need have a Vagrant. Current version is 2.2.19 you need to pull the github repository that is imagine cloud slash kubernetes to pull this repository if you don't have you can uh, install github as well uh, you can pull the code repository from here copy this url and then you can go to your favorite ide and you can use the git clone and paste the url I've already done that uh, and this is the structure of the code. It has one Vagrant file and uh, the dependent files are present in Ubuntu folder. In this Vagrant file, I've already provided the number of master and worker node, one master and three worker nodes. If you want to alter the uh, worker nodes, you can surely do that, but uh, to have a standard uh, cluster of uh, Kubernetes three worker nodes are like a good combination to go with uh, this is the master node configuration and this is the worker node configuration master node configuration first uh, I'm doing some initial setup in which docker is being installed then I'm providing the memory as 2 GB and uh, CPU uh, 2 core, 2 CPUs I am providing uh, whereas to the worker I am providing uh, 1 GB uh, RAM uh, but uh, providing 2 CPUs there. Uh, a part of it uh, you can see the setup host file in which I am setting up the host in slash etc slash host uh, file you can see setup slash host um, mainly I'm doing this part which is optional but I'm just keeping it there for uh, reference uh, and then I'm doing the update DNS uh, just to appoint the DNS uh, to 8.8.8.8 and uh, that is also optional and main setup of master is done in setup master.sh if you see setup master.sh uh, in which i am uh, first pulling all the required images uh, using cube adm config image pool and then initializing the kubernetes cluster using the pod network 10.244.0.0 slash 16 um, and I need to provide the master IP address over here uh, in API server advertising address after that um, I need to deploy the Calico network uh, which is the network between the uh, pods uh, otherwise if we do not install this network then uh, the nodes will never come uh, to ready state and uh, there will be no communication between the pods after installing the network um, and generating a connection token uh, for workers to join uh, this join cluster.sh file will be pulled by the worker after the workers are up to get connected to the master or to the cluster entire cluster i am using the public and private files uh, to do the communication between the master and the worker nodes and then uh, setting up the cube config or the dot uh, cube dot config which is used by cube ctl to connect the cluster so this is all about the master now to the worker uh, most of the things are same uh, setting up the host uh, name setting up the network uh, setting up the host updating the DNS and then setup worker setup worker is the important script setup worker 
in which the first task is I am adding the private key which is required to connect to the master then I am changing the uh, mode of the private key after that I am pulling uh, the join cluster dot sh uh, from the master this is the master IP address and the master uh, username and then executing the join cluster dot sh what join cluster dot sh will have the capabilities uh, join command and eventually the worker will be connected to the cluster if you see by default uh, the status of this cluster uh, vagrant status uh, currently the machines are not yet created so you can see the status as not created it is not started or not even calibrated you can see there is no master o1 work on o1 2 3 there is nothing these are my other uh, vms so you can just ignore those going back in here to start the script we just need to do vagrant up this command will follow the vagrant file and do whatsoever is given bringing up the machine master one worker one worker two worker three uh, it takes a bit of time first it will pull the ubuntu bionic 64 os uh, this is 18.04 uh, lts ubuntu uh, this script will take a bit of time to complete so I'll resume the video after the script is completed so uh, the script just now finished um, I see worker 3 installed before this worker 2 worker 1 and master 01 all are installed just to verify uh, whether the setup is done correctly or not you can see vagrant status uh, if uh, the machines are in running state then uh, we can say that uh, the machines are up properly and then we'll validate uh, if uh, kubernetes cluster is also working fluently we see all the four machines are running correctly now let's get into the master to verify if uh, the kubernetes cluster is running perfectly vagrant ssh master o1 from where we can validate uh, things so here you can see the master is having ip address 56.2 uh, to check the status of the machine we need to go to the root user sudo su and then uh, kubectl get nodes minus o wide so this command will show the status of all the nodes the nodes are in ready state um, all the master and the worker nodes are 18.04 lts the docker version is 20.10 which is installed everywhere and the kubernetes is of version 1.22.2 so this confirms that my uh, Kubernetes is running perfectly uh, now let's uh, create a small deployment to uh, validate if the pods are running well we'll be creating a deployment definition file for nginx deployment and we'll be running a three uh, pod deployment uh, for that uh, let's create the deployment definition file kubectl create deploy uh, nginx uh, minus minus image equals to nginx this will be the image used for the pod which will run then uh, minus o minus minus dry run because i don't want to directly uh, run it i want to do some tweaking before it executes and then minus o uh, YAML format and I need to push the output to nginx.yaml so I can see 
nginx.yml file which is created then nano nginx.yml this is the deployment definition file uh, by default it will create only one uh, replica that is one pod i wish to have it to run three pods and then uh, do the load balancing between all the three pods by default uh, the pod is using nginx um, image so all looks good let's save the file and then now let's create the deployment right now if i see kubectl get deploy i should not see any of the deployment kubectl create minus f nginx.yml you see deployment is created kubectl get deploy you see nginx uh, deployment is done three out of three pods are created up to date three are available and three we have created tl get pods minus o wide you see all the three pods are created and all the three pods are evenly distributed one pod on each worker node and this is the worker node ip address which is given internally it seems the cluster is stable and uh, working deployment and pods are running well so